Hey everyone! For this video, I've decided to do something more along the lines of the Callie Marie video that I did a while back, because I had another really good suggestion after I put out a question on my Discord server, which you can still join! I will put the link out in all of my past video descriptions, so just join that and you'll be able to have a say in what my next video is. Anyway, I hope you like it! My list of materials includes a pencil, an eraser, another eraser, a bunch of pens, more pens, and, because two wasn't enough, another eraser. And as always, we start off with a good old fashioned sketch. Now, whether you're new or returning, I probably haven't yet told you that doing line art before the sketch is probably one of my worst fears. Actually, no, scratch that. Doing no line art at all and just jumping right into the coloring after doing the sketch. That's my worst fear. Scratch that again. Not doing a sketch and just jumping right in with coloring or just doing line art and the color without the sketch. That's my worst fear. Scratch that, just doing the coloring. You're gonna hate me, but scratch that again, but not doing any art at all. That is my worst fear. Mm -hmm. Worst fear. Now that my rant about sketching is done, we can move on to the line art. Now, you may have noticed, you may have not, and either one is totally fine, but I'm not using the same Fudenosuke brush tip color pens that I used last time. And that's because I wanted to achieve a different kind of effect with this piece than I did with the Callie and Marie piece. So to achieve that different kind of effect that I wanted, I had to use a different form of line art. And to get that different form of line art, I had to use a different pen. Also, for the most part, I'm not speeding up or slowing down these clips at all. This is in real time. I think that just kind of goes to show that line art takes a long time. It's very tedious and you have to be very careful and precise about where you put your lines. And now for my favorite part. Ah! And now we get to take a second and appreciate this beautiful finished line art. Just, just take a look at it for a minute in all of its glory. And now we breathe color and life into this bad boy. Now I was actually really excited to get started on this part of the process, the coloring part, because over Christmas break I got a lot of new Copic colors, including an ocean set, a primary colors set, and my sister got a, another really good set that's for like sparkles and stuff but it doesn't actually have sparkles in it but it's like kind of pastel colors softer colors and it looks really pretty so I used a bunch of those in here too but it's all good I didn't steal from her it's okay because we share them and she shares mine and I share hers so it's all good don't yell at me I didn't steal them I promise and yes I do have a sister I have three siblings I've got two brothers and a sister and they're all super awesome. I love them so much and they make really great company. I love you guys. You guys are the best shout out because I hope you're watching my videos. Also, just a quick note, I've never actually played Undertale. This is just my interpretation of how Sans looks. I did look up reference photos, but none of them gave me the information I needed to work on this piece. So there was a lot of gray area when I was working on it. So I just, filled in that gray area with my own interpretation. And although I've never played it, I do think it would be a really cool game to play. So that's going on my bucket list for sure. So what do you guys think? Feel free to leave a comment down below to share your thoughts. Also, I really liked doing this video and the Callie Marie one. So odds are I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. So if there's a certain video game character or movie character, TV show character, whatever that you'd like to see me draw, just leave a comment down below or drop something in my Discord server. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later!